And obedient you shall eat the good of the land. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. I don't know whether I don't know about you, but I want to eat good. Yeah. I know it may not look like it, but I love to eat. Yeah. I love to eat. There's this big girl inside of me. Her name is Precious. I feel her well. We got an agreement. As long as she stay on the inside and not come out, I give her the whatever she wants. Like a father bribing us with a good candy. Right. Yeah, God bribes us. It's in the text. I didn't make it up. It says if. 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 It says if. if. If is a conjunction. It's a text to something. If. My mom in here, she, she used to bribe me all the time. How many single parents in here that had to take their children to work? Knowing that they weren't supposed to be there. Uh -huh. But you had to do what you had to do. So you took them and you put them in a conference room or an empty office and, and you said, now look, if you're crying and don't bother me and act like you sleep and don't know who your mama is and somebody that looks like a boss, come in. I'll take you to that dog. Now don't let it be something real important, you know. She might take it up a notch and say, you know what? If you're on your best behavior, I'll take you to check and see. The prize just gets better and better, doesn't it? But guess what? That's what God has for you as a result of your obedience. Better than before. And it's okay. I know sometimes you feel like, well, I'm too far gone or I'm too far out there. I've messed up too much. Or, I'm too far away from you, God. But God is saying to us today, come to me, all ye who are heavy burdened, and I will give you rest. Y'all, we need rest so that we can do better. You can't do it all. You can't do it all by yourself. What did the song that the dance ministry ministered earlier? Not by might, not by power, but by your spirit, Lord. Coming to him means listening to him. And in order to hear from him, we have to spend time with him and trust the process of our stretching, of our ears being open. God never promised us that the race was given to the swift or the strong. But to those who endure to the end. Do what you can do. Just be better with your time. Trust your intuition and the vision that God has laid on your heart. Do what you can even when other people tell you that you can't. What did God say? I know what you're thinking, but baby preacher, I don't even care anymore. I'm depleted. I'm empty. I'm over it. I'm sick of it. But God is saying, uh-uh. I didn't choose you to be sick of it. I chose you to birth it. You have life growing inside of you. And you won't tell anybody but your pillow conversation partner. And if you tell them and they don't, and, and, and they don't jump or leap, then you need to find somebody else to lay down with. Amen. Because everybody don't get it. It's only a small few of us that he tickles our spirits when something isn't right. The Bible tells us in Matthew 7 and 14, but small is the gate and narrow the road that leads to life, and only a few find it. Your road to life is found in your time with God. And daily you will see and feel yourself be better. And don't get caught up in what the naysayers who can't even give themselves a yes have to say. Don't grow for show. Grow to grow. Your growth ain't for everybody. At least that's what they're going to say or think initially. Remember what Peter said about the crowd in misery. You were ignorant before. But now that you witness for yourself what God has done, repent. It'll be like it never happened. Don't get this.
disappointed in your growth just because everybody can't see it. If God is working on you and dealing with you, acknowledge and celebrate yourself for your steps. Remind yourself often while you're doing what you're doing. Make a vision goal. Mark off your goals with a permanent marker as you complete them. Pray and ask God to continue to show you your progress even when others can't see it. Because let's be honest. They may not see it, just like they may not see or feel me slap them for disrespecting my business or my efforts. That don't mean that I ain't think about it. But as we are intentionally working on our discipline and overcoming temptation of being about their life, we are daily getting better than that. Amen? Amen. Somebody say, I'm better than before. I'm better than before. And finally, they have.